enough to own your very own printer, then you're going to want to be able to get the most out of it by utilizing Photoshop's color management settings within its actual print options. So in this video, we're going to delve in a little bit deeper and actually examine what are some of the settings that you can actually take advantage of inside of Photoshop when printing directly to your printer. So if we go up to file in the main navigation or menu, you'll actually find print down the bottom, very similar to any other software application that you utilize. So if we click on that, it'll bring up the actual print window. Now, there are a few things to pay attention to with regards to printing directly from Photoshop. Now, when you're actually customizing your print settings, depending on your particular computer, whether it's a PC or a Mac, you might notice some slight differences. You shouldn't notice any differences with this particular window, but if you actually go to your print settings, you'll probably notice some slight differences uh, with what you're currently viewing in this tutorial. I'm currently working on a Mac, so I have a variety of different options available to me that aren't necessarily available to you if you're working on a PC. So that's just something to keep in mind. But specifically for Photoshop's print uh, dialog box or window that's, that we're currently looking at here, it should be identical to that of a PC. So the first thing you'll notice when you actually look inside this window is you have your printer option. So this is fairly self-explanatory. You can choose the type of printer that you want to actually print from. Now underneath that, you have all the usual options when printing directly to a printer. You have your copies, and then you have your print settings, which we just quickly uh, took a look at. But essentially those are settings that you can customize uh, according to your own printer and how you actually want to set it up. But specifically in this tutorial, I really want to concentrate on the color management features of Photoshop. Uh, now underneath print settings, we have send 16 bit data. So this is actually quite useful for sending all the information of your file directly to the printer to get a higher quality print uh, without having actually converted down to eight bit. See, if you don't know, um, certain photographic printers uh, that large photographic uh, labs use to print their photographs uh, in the past would actually require 8-bit files in order to actually print them. They wouldn't print from 16-bit files and you'd have to flatten them down and convert them and make sure they're, they're A-OK -okay in order to actually go ahead and actually print. But with Photoshop, you don't have any of those limitations. You can actually print directly to your printer using 16-bit data if you want to, to achieve a higher quality print. Now, obviously, that's going to take slightly longer to print because you're sending more data to the printer as opposed to an 8-bit file. And in some cases, that's going to be twice the file size. Now, underneath this particular option, we have position. Now, that is actually fairly self-explanatory. Once again, you know, you obviously want to position your image with inside the canvas that you're actually printing from and, you know, decide how much border you actually want to provide it and whether it's centered or off-centered, etc. Now, underneath that, you actually have your scale uh, print size options. So you can scale to fit the current size media. And you can also choose to specify your own scale, your own height, and your own width just by simply turning off this checkbox, adding your own uh, scale percentage here, or your own width and height. Now, obviously, these are all linked at the moment. You can see the little link icon here, but if I wanted to, uh, it actually won't let me turn that off to distort the image. So you're going to have to stay to the same particular format. But if I was going to print from this particular uh, file, I could actually just reduce it to the file size that I actually want to print it at. So I'm just going to select scale to fit media. Now underneath that we have a couple of different options here from your units and your bounding box, but essentially the main things that you want to really concentrate on inside this dialog box are the color management options which are to the right here. Um, you do have match print colors set it uh, actually checkbox underneath your actual um, preview of your image here. You can choose to utilize that. You'll notice here there's a, a slight difference there in the actual image uh, as I turn that on and off. So it's gone from the image that I'm currently viewing 
to a more realistic uh, view of the image when it's actually printed. So you can utilize that. You've got gamma warnings. So once I turn that on, it'll show me that those gray areas there are gamma warnings, meaning that those colors are actually outside of the current uh, printer profile that I may have selected on my uh, color management settings here and then you also have your little show uh, paper white settings as well so if you have uh, often you'll have an off-white paper which is not a pure white it's sort of sort of a um, a yellowy white or an offset white so you really uh, that's just essentially going to knock back the image preview for you there I'll just quickly turn those off but essentially with your color management options here you have a couple of choices the first is essentially to choose whether you want to utilize the document uh, color profile or you want to actually proof it uh, to a specific color profile uh, that's detailed here now you've got color handling options here so if we leave the document set up here on adobe rgb as i currently have it set you can go to color handling and we can choose whether we want photoshop to manage colors or we want the printer to manage colors so this is where Photoshop will convert to a particular profile or where the actual printer will do the conversion for you. In this case, I'm going to utilize Photoshop Manage Colors and that's going to allow me to specify an output uh, paper profile, uh, ink and paper profile here that I can utilize to actually print from. So if I go to my printer profile, you'll notice now that I have quite a few different printing uh, profile options. And you'll notice down the bottom here we have all my uh, 1800 uh, paper profiles. So for each particular paper I have about two different types of profiles that I can utilize. Um, so essentially I'll come in here and according to the particular paper type that I'm going to print to, what I want to do is choose that paper type in relation to the profile. So if I was using glossy, I have two glossy um, paper output profiles here. So I'm going to say select this one. This is premium glossy photo. Uh, we can select that. So now you're essentially getting Photoshop to convert to your output profile, which in this case will be a glossy print. So it's going to be a glossy output profile. And that's going to essentially convert from RGB to the glossy uh, output profile and it'll actually give me a better result as opposed to printing directly to any particular profile which you could end up with essentially any result. Now if underneath your printed profile you have your rendering intent options which we've discussed in a previous video. Now I mentioned to you that you really want to utilize either perceptual or relative color metric as the rendering intents and it usually I'll stick with relative color metric but on certain occasions I will use perceptual it just depends on how much variation there is between jumping between profiles so I'm going to leave that set to relative color metric and then I'm going to make sure that I check on black point comp compensation because I want to really make sure that the black points of the image stay consistent and from here that is essentially ready to be printed and that's all, that's essentially how you go about and actually color manage your images inside of Photoshop when you're printing directly to your own color inkjet printer.